Greetings, everyone. This is Rock and Roll Spot coming to you with another someone building the team. So, uh, last time we were we were here, we uh, looked at the um, uh, the generic uh, teams, uh, the all generic teams that uh, put together. I'll, uh, I only have to run, uh, want to play one game with uh, in that uh, game. Uh, Play against Lucas, if we were the ones who showed up, but uh, played the monster team. Um, it, it actually did pretty well. Uh, didn't win, but you know, got a few uh, animals that of uh, that Lucas ran. So you know, actually managed to uh, you know manage to score some points. Anyways, uh, this week began. Uh, New season of league play. Um, the idea being, it's very modern, and the winners, the pieces on the winners team, are then banned for the next month. So I put together a Kryptonian team. Uh, there are a few reasons I'll get into that for for the team. I'll get into it later. So first and foremost, we've got uh, on the team Superboy. This is uh, uncommon from uh, Matches of Time. Um, comes in at uh, 75 or 40 points. We were run, run, I was running at, 30, at 40 points. Has the uh, Superman Ally and Legion of Superheroes team abilities, as well as the Kryptonian, Legion of Superheroes, and Future keywords. We also have a trait, Long Live the Legion. Sidestep. Once per turn for all characters with this trait, when a friendly character with the Legion of Superheroes keyword is damaged by an opposing game effect, roll a d6 and friendly characters with the Legion of Superheroes keyword modify listed combat values by the listed amount until the end of your next turn. On a one, 1, 2, or 3, modify defense by plus 1. On a 4 or 5, modify attack plus 1. On a 6, modify all combat values by plus 1. Now, there was only one point where this uh, trait was actually got to be used, and... Um, I rolled a six on it, so yeah, I was actually pretty stoked about that. Anyways, um, okay. So looking at the dial, it's uh, only the last three clicks, so we get uh, a click of sidestep, followed by two clicks of running shot, then uh, the last two clicks are energy explosion on attack, on defense. Um, We've got uh, toughness, and on damage we've got empower. The empower is pretty much why we put him on the team. Also, I was short for by forty-five points, so or by uh, by forty points, so that kind of worked out. Um, next up, we've got Supergirl from the Death of Superman uh, Iconics. Supergirl comes in at either uh, 75 points or 50 points. I uh, was running her at uh, 75 points. She has the um, Superman Ally and Team Player Team Abilities, as well as the Kryptonian, Metropolis, Teen Titans, and Cosmic Keywords. We also have a trait, Team Luther, Outwit. When Supergirl uses uh, Team Player, if a friendly character with the Superman Ally Team Ability has been KO'd this game, she may instead choose a copyable or non-copyable uh, team ability an uh, opposing character can use. That actually came into play, but uh, well, there was a there's a reason we want we especially wanted to use her. And, uh, she also has uh, two more traits. First off is uh, protoplasmic merger. When Supergirl is KO, choose a friendly character. Or choose a friendly character. This game, the chosen character has. The flight symbol, Superman Ally team ability, and it can use shape change. Okay. Then the next, last trait she's got, Matrix free. Choose one t until the until your next turn. If you roll seventy five points, choose two instead. Initial deflection, super senses, and telekinesis. I went with uh, initial deflection and super senses, which is why we were not really we didn't bother with uh, her copying uncut. Copying an uh, uncopyable team ability. 
but uh, looking at the dial, we've got two clicks of charge followed by two clicks of size and two clicks of stealth on speed. On attack, we get three clicks of super strength and three clicks of incapacitate. On defense, we get two clicks of invulnerability, two clicks of uh, toughness, and two clicks of regeneration. Then on uh, damage, we get four clicks of shape change and two clicks of empower. She's a decent attacker. Next up, we've got Superman in the, the most iconic of Superman poses ever. Waiting on the bus. Anyways, uh, Superman comes in at 85 points or uh, 50 points. We were running him at 85 points. He has the Hyper Time team ability as well as the Justice League, Kryptonian, Metropolis, Time Masters, Trinity, Future and Past keywords, Russell the Trait, Time Masters. Probability Control. When Superman uses it and an opposing character misses all targets, after resolutions, remove an action token from a friendly character with the future or past keyword. We actually managed to uh, pull that off once as well, and, uh, well, the only one with a keyword, with, with a future, the future or past keyword that had an action token at the time was Superman, so, yeah. Looking at the dial, though, we've got eight clicks of charge, eight clicks of super strength, on defense, we open up with a special power, um, I Can't Let This Happen, which grants uh, Defend and Invulnerability, then we get two clicks of uh, regular invulnerability, another click of the special power, then four clicks of uh, toughness. Sadly, nothing on uh, damage. I swear that this set is, Master of Time is probably the worst set for uh, leadership in the uh, when it comes to non-chases. Superman and... Uh, the Wonder Woman, the uncommon Wonder Woman in the set should, in, should, in my opinion, both have uh, leadership. Moving on though to the last figure from from the team, we've got Zala Jor El. This is a uh, chase from uh, Dark Knights of Steel. She is basically the uh, Dark Knights of Steel version of Supergirl. She comes in at uh, 100 points or 50 points. We're running her at 100 points. She has the Superman Ally and Wonder Woman Ally team abilities, as well as the Amazon, Kryptonian, Cosmic, Past, and uh, Warrior keywords. we got three traits. Uh, first off is uh, Hunting the Green Man. When Dollar jor KOs an opposing character with the Assassin or Spy keyword, score 10 additional victory points. When Zala jor attacks... Opposing characters can't use Mastermind or Shape Change. Okay. Then we've got uh, The World Needs Us Together, Zala. Unique modifier. Other friendly characters within four squares modify damage pl by plus one. When a friendly character with the Amazon keyword deals damage, that damage can't be reduced below one. Now note that it says simply a friendly character with the Amazon keyword. So rolling a six on... on uh, Well, basically, it's precision strike, but that doesn't affect super senses. And finally, our father deserves justice. When Zala jor hits, it was the first attack this turn. After resolutions, place another friendly character that shares a keyword with Zala jor adjacent to her. Okay. Then, looking at her dial, we've got one op an opening click on speed of uh, hypersonic sp of hypersonic speed. Two clicks of charge, one more click of hypersonic, one click of uh, one more click of charge, and two clicks of running shot. Sadly, we have nothing on attack. Which uh, then on uh, defense, we get two clicks of uh, invincible, two clicks of impervious, and three clicks of invulnerability. Then uh, on the second and third click of uh, the dam on damage, she's got exploit weakness. So. The the reason I, I didn't take advantage of uh, Supergirl of Supergirl's uh, trait was uh, I wanted to keep her since I was I always had a point make a point of uh, basically just saying every turn like oh, yeah I'll uh, be choosing super senses on Supergirl it was to basically take advantage of uh, 
Zala Jor-El's uh, Wonder Woman team ability. Basically, she, so she's got uh, um, super senses that with a plus one to the roll. So, I mean, if someone puts in a strike, you, you get a roll of five or a six. Uh, otherwise, a four through six. But, um, the team did not, did, uh, didn't win any, any matches, but, uh, honestly, I got to do the big dumb stuff I want, some of the big stuff, dumb, yeah, some of the big dumb stuff I wanted to do, so, that, that qualifies as a win to me. Um, it is, this team was fun, was honestly just fun to, to, uh, play. Um, I think there are things that I think that would work better with. For example, leadership on anyone. Nor I would namely say leadership on uh, Superman, but you know, yeah. Perhaps when this uh, when matches the time and uh, the the Superman uh, iconics rotate out for, to uh, silver, maybe uh, you know. Maybe we might revisit it. Or who knows, maybe uh, there might be something in uh, the, upcoming, the upcoming Lantern set next year that uh, helps out. Anyways, um, next week, uh, it's once again going to be uh, 300 Point Modern League play. Probably going to be uh, playing a, uh, ma a marksman team. I've got... Uh, well, just got the uh, the team put together, but uh, probably uh, there's some changes I might have to make. But uh, anyways, that's gonna do it for now. As always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Big shout out to uh, Patreon patron uh, Redman of the Penis. Thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, links to my Facebook, Twitter, Blue Sky, Instagram, Mastodon, Patreon, PayPal can be found in the description box down below. This is Rock and Roll Spock signing off saying, live long and rock hard.